welcome back to Fidelity's YouTube and today we're going to go through how to get started using UI flows or RPA robotic process automation um, or also known as well as uh, power automate desktop is what we're going to look at today in particular and how to set it up to start off and uh, then how to just run a simple task on it so first thing to set it up um, I want to get a desktop version of that app so I'm going to just launch my browser and go to make.powerapps.com from here sign in and then to start off um, and to find out where to download this I'm going to go to flows down here where I keep my um, usual cloud flows and under desktop flows here, we'll see some of our UI flows, anything like that, that we have. And here we see install. And we can install Power Automate Desktop or on-premises data gateway. We'll come to that in a later video. Today, we'll just look at Power Automate Desktop and get started with some of this uh, RPA functionality. So I just downloaded that. Um, and it's here down here so I'm gonna double click it and run this download package so from here I'm gonna hit next and yeah tick all those boxes and we've got an install process then Once that's uh, installed, we're good to launch the Power Automate desktop. So I'm gonna launch that straight away. And you're gonna to need to sign in here as well. So it's just getting everything together and you won't have one of these. I've got already flow associated with mine, but start off by clicking a new flow. And I'm just gonna do uh, a notepad test. And I wanna say notepad test. And hit create. And that's opened back here. So hopefully you'll see a screen like this. So what we're gonna do first is go over here into the right column and click system. And under here, we're gonna click run application. Drag that out into our main screen here and pick a, an application you have on your de desktop. For this, I'm picking notepad just for something simple so that we can demonstrate what we can do. And click save. What that'll do is straight away open notepad so if i run my um flow straight away it should open notepad and you'll see it did that it opened up this here um now next thing i want to do is actually record some actual input going on in here so uh back in my ui flow i'm going to click desktop recorder and this is going to record everything i do once that application is open so with Notepad, there's not a whole lot of options you could do, but with other applications, you could be clicking different buttons and things. For this demonstration, we're gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna click Desktop Recorder, and you should see a box like this appear, and um, it has a start recording, and it'll show you the actions that happen here as you go. So I'm gonna click Start Recording, and now it's recording everything I press as, as we go through this. So if I click into this document here, you'll notice that that popped up here. Click element in window is recorded. And I'm just gonna type in hello. And you can see it's 
recording that along a kind of the shift key to for capitals and the shift key for my exclamation mark so it's just recording what i'm doing and if i press something that i don't want let's say i press format here i don't really want that it's not something i wanted to record i can always delete it on the fly here as i'm going and then just to finish this off i'm going to go over here into my top right and always spend a little bit of time hovering over it so it's kind of sure where you are in the application before you click i'm going to click close do i want to save changes no i don't want to save so i'm going to hover over this don't save button for a little while and then i'm going to click it and after that i'm going to just hit finish and now we've got this all laid out all the different steps that i took there and so now if we test this out i'm going to go up here and hit run you'll see it opens up notepad types in hello close that down again so that's a very simple very basic version of how we can use ui flows just to kind of control some applications and um, we'll look at this further in some future videos